sorry everyone that was a technical glitch um so anyway so katie going back to katie's comments to in regards to uh, ines's um view on box openings katie basically felt the same way saying in a very long response to her oh you are so right um the bonding of the baby starts with a box opening and um even though we all know we changed the babies but how a baby is boxed and packed um, is how it determines it's the first view that we have or the first feeling we have towards this baby. If the baby is not, that's now my opinion, not Katie's, Katie's out of this now. In my opinion, if the baby is just thrown in a box with a hospital blanket and no, no insurance, no bubble wrap, used clothing, to me, it's not a loved baby by the, by, by the, the reborn collector and therefore I have already a bad feeling toward this baby um, and this has nothing to do with the artist um, the reason I bought this JC was because of Leticia Moreno because I wanted to have a baby by her okay and all she had to do all Ines had to do was take this baby back fix the pacifier um, not omit that she changed the body and you know and put on some some nice clothes in the in the box the way she would expect expect other people you know to handle her buys that she that she makes and none of that happened oh hi, hi oh come on here oh Ines um per your uh, life I guess you think that David, that's my husband David. Hi, I'm David. I am a real live person. I'm not a figment of your imagination. Oh, neither am I. Well, for everybody that does know, oh, thanks. You, okay. can, you can go back. Don't say. I was just checking uh, on you. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye, sweetie. Bye. Bye, um, Inez. <laughs> yeah, because if anybody looks at, um, or was part of Inez's life, she has taken a down since. Um, her whole idea was, oh, David is Andrea and I have a girlfriend on here that watches both of my German and American vlog oh this is probably Andrea too and is you want me to kind of go and grab her too or is David good enough for you um so anyway um you know this this you know how you're spinning this whole thing that this baby was perfectly fine the per baby was perfectly fine with the exception of a couple of things that i wanted you to fix or take the baby back period end of story okay because let me read this to you from the federal trade commission and to anybody watching out there a chargeback occurs when a credit card holder disputes a charge and the transaction is reversed. People uh, tend to think of chargebacks as remedies for billing errors or fraudulent purchases, but customers can also dispute a charge if they are dissatisfied with the quality of merchandise, service, or delivery, and the merchant refuses to make things right. That would be you. In a nutshell so no you know what you're spinning here to the to to your to your minions you know check the check you know check the the law a little bit and if you take a look at the Federal Trade Commission laws and rules on chargebacks 90% of chargebacks go in the favor of the buyers that's why the sellers don't want to deal with chargebacks. They will do anything and everything to make things right. But not you. You think you're above the law. And you're not. I'm here to say to anybody. If you, if, if anybody out there, please, if you buy anything, doesn't matter if it's on eBay, if it's on Facebook, if it's, it doesn't matter where it is, and you see uh, no returns accepted or final sale, that's, that doesn't mean anything. It really doesn't mean anything.
if you are not satisfied with the purchase or if the purchase is not as described or if the purchase is, pur purchase is defective, you as a consumer have a right to contact the merchant and to work on a solution or a resolution. And if that's not possible, you go through your either credit card company or financial institution. Because that at that at the end of the day, it's on the merchant. Because the merchant should stick and believe in what they're selling is proper and right and correct. And it is not for the buyer to be fixing anything that is damaged when the merchandise arrives. And the merchant then to just say, oh well, it's just a little this or a little that. No. If something comes defective or not as described, it is on you. It is on, it's on anybody on YouTube or Instagram or anywhere. Don't let people fool you that you don't have a right. Okay? And as far as the chargeback is concerned, you know what? I want at this point, I want this woman to get out of my life, out of my videos. I don't want to make another video about her. She's got more airtime than she deserves. Um, I'm going to, I don't need the 950, like I said before, as badly as obviously she does. Um, and I'm going to keep this baby and um, try to bond with this baby. But there will always be a part of me that has some sort of, there's always going to be a cloud hanging over this baby, as far as I'm concerned, um, because of the nightmare that you, Ines, put me through. You put me through hell and back. Over what? What you couldn't sell that other that doll to anybody else, or what was the trip? What was your trip here? You know, you had no right to not talk to me, to refuse this. This is not. I don't know who you get your information from. Even the artists say, if you are not completely satisfied, unless it's a custom piece that is made specifically for you, you can return. Or I will make it right. I will fix whatever you don't want. It's, it's, uh, you need to stop. Get out of my videos. And you know what? Another thing is, thank God I do these vlogs after the garbage you spew out there. And I'm keeping mine up for people to view. Because if I didn't, if I wouldn't have made that video, those videos, about you and what really went down, Elaine would have never known. She would have only known your side of the story. And that would have really been a shame and not truthful. So for anybody out there, if you get scammed, if you get bullied, make a video. Make a video, call that person out, keep that video up, you are doing this as a community service. And if my only purpose in this community is to be a little beacon of light and positive feedback and positive vibes, so be it. You know, maybe that's my calling. Maybe that's why I was supposed to start this channel. To, to you know, put people like you in check. Because this is unacceptable behavior. Not only in this YouTube commun community, but in life, period. And anybody, and you know what? You know, you can't even stick to your values and what you spew out there. What you spew out there is always in lives, you know, where you only allow certain people to come on you know and then when the life is over and you had your little 
feel of you know like everybody tapping you on the back oh you did well you did well then you take the thing down because you don't want the rest of the community to see you know how despicable you are it's horrible and I'm here to say you know what you found your match in me and I hope that you stop and you know since you already went after one reborn um, artist and talk to talk to them and didn't get very far there or didn't get anywhere actually I hope this message now spreads to the rest of the reborn artists out there that instead of not trusting me they should maybe take a look at your videos but then again you know they can't really look at videos because you delete everything because you can't really st stick up for your beliefs because you know your beliefs are bogus you have there's no teeth behind anything that you do what you do is you you take snippets of my videos and take certain words and paste them together with other words to make like a little story that that benefits you in your little head okay or that will you know look good to your you know people you know just like you said oh Andrea says that everybody in this community is a 400 pound person sitting on a bed that's not ever what I said okay I was talking about one person and that person knows exactly what I'm talking about just look in the mirror I'm sorry you know you've been evil and disgusting towards me Australia and you know what if you can't take it coming back at you too bad and don't throw it out there you know what if if you don't want to be you know treated equally don't throw stuff out there like I said before this is America and this is a democracy and you're not gonna get away with this and I really don't care about these few people that comment that have you know six views and zero vlogs and the people like the people that really are real you know reborn collectors um, like Christina's Reborns um, who else is there uh, let me think uh, 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 what else is there? Uh, Annie Benani, uh, Renee, you know, they all stay away from all this stuff. But are they really better? Because they have known all this time what you are about. And for a long time, they really stuck by you, knowing what kind of garbage you put out there. How you insert yourself in every situation so just because now they're quiet does it really make them really honorable people you know instead of standing up and say look you are out of line and we are not standing for this this is not what this community is about this is not what I'm about this is not my, what my channel is about no it took me a newcomer to set you straight you know you know like Emily coming on your live and in Emily yeah I did I do take screenshots of everything you know saying that you find it disgusting that I talk about my house and I and I have a bigger house and I travel the world and you know and I have more reborns blah 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 you know you you say what did you say in there um I find that horrid and disgusting okay that that she talks about what she this is completely horrid and disgusting you know what I talked about that because the community you people talked about if I can't afford a $950 doll why would I buy it in the first place which makes zero sense clearly I could afford it that's why I bought it the return of the doll had nothing to do with the price of the doll and don't you get that I mean are you really that dense 
and you should talk about people throwing their money around or throwing out there how much money they have you with your three or four silicone dolls in the in in a value of four to five thousand dollars each you know talking about how you are for you know preserving the planet and and um you know animal cruelty you know what why don't you put some of that money towards you know rescuing animals you know i mean you i mean you, the, the hypocrisy here is unbelievable like i don't get into your business why are you getting into mine this has nothing to do with you emily zero and i followed you too for a long time when you were in the hospital when you were really sick and supported you and you wrote back not one problem it is really horrible it really shows the lack of character really you know how easily like sheep you know sheep being led they have no idea where they are going they just follow 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 you know that's that's not that's not right you know and there's there's a few people like that out there you know and i'm you know and i befriended you emily on facebook and on instagram and all of a sudden you know once this whole thing with with ines came you know went down everybody took sides but you know what the thing is you can take sides but you know what takes sides once you heard both sides of the story which you had no interest in you didn't have an interest in it christina didn't have an interest in it Annie didn't have an interest in it, Renee didn't have an interest in it, and so many more had zero interest in it. You just put your word, you put the word out there, you know, sent me horrible messages, and then kept your mouth shut. You know what, you, I, I have no idea why you're in this community. This is not, this is not okay. Absolutely not okay. So I think, I don't know, I don't know what else was, there's like so much more um, out there. What I would suggest to you guys is um, go on Ines's, um, Ines's, um, well don't go on her, on her, um, on her uh, channel because I don't really want to give you any more clicks or views or anything like that she doesn't deserve it she needs to make it right she needs to make things right with me she needs to make things right with the artists that she just slammed because you just cost this artist money and because of your lying you put you could have you know Put her name, you know, I mean, really cost her a lot of money and a lot of, and a lot of clients, you know, but because I took the step and talked to this person and talked to this artist and between, you know, and she took it upon herself to, you know, to take a look at the other side of the story, you know, that's the only reason why you are not getting away with this people see through you you know oh yeah what is this here now okay this is like from sam's little seance that she did see oh well you you can see it where she uh, questions if david is a real person and if my friend is a real person and you know what this is just so pathetic it's really horrible um like i said I'm I'm done with you. Don't contact me. Do not every time and every time you mention my name, like I said before, there's gonna be a video made. I will not be a punching bag for you. Period. I will not be bullied by you. And I would suggest you stop contacting artists because this message is gonna go around to the rest of the artists. Period. If I if and if I make this my life's work to contact every artist, and sh and ask them to take a look at my videos, I will do that. So. I will keep. Blake. 
and I will find joy in this baby because let's face it, this is not a real human being with feelings and this is a doll and I buy these dolls for the art that they are. Okay, I don't run around in with strollers and burp them and whatever. That's just not, you know, if that's your thing, that's up to you. That's just not my, that's not the way I look at these, these dolls. These dolls to me, they give me joy, they give me happiness, I take it, but mostly I enjoy the art that's behind these dolls. And like my husband said, you know, just yesterday, it's like, you know what, why don't you go back to collecting Ray Dunn, you know, coffee mugs. You know, you are a much happier person than, than, you know, being with in this reborn community. It's completely horrible. It's like it's it's it's, you know, I've never seen you so upset and so, you know, hurt and so, you know, like flabbergasted. And how much time this consumes, trying to defend yourself on here. He said it's horrible. Why are you even in this community? And my, 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 my answer to him is always because there are so many, for every rotten apple like that, there are so many good people out there. They can't defend themselves. They, they don't have the energy that feels, you know, that they don't have the strength to fight, you know, to do the right thing. So you know what? I will for those people and for the people that really want to see babies and clothes and pacifiers and bottles and gear and and how to fix things for those people I make my videos so let's hope and pray everybody that um, there's not gonna be any more videos where she mentions my name because then I'm gonna have to come on again setting her straight um, so let's hope that this is not going to be happening. Um, for my German viewers, I'm so sorry. I know that you don't understand half of what I just said. Um, and it's really not really necessary for you to know. Just know that um, you need to keep your eyes and ears open. Uh, always be checking people out. Don't take things for granted. Don't trust people unless you know them really, really, really well. Um, other than that, you know, if you have a question, any of you, if you have ever have a question about anything, I do research on, on a lot of things. I have a lot of time. My kids are grown and the reason I started the We One Hobby is because I miss my grandchildren in California and, um, uh, and my kids and this gives me a little bit of, you know, like, you know, like makes me a little bit closer to them. Um, so that's why, you know, I actually started this. Um, but in the meantime, I really started to really be very impressed with the artwork that's behind it. So with that being said, I'm going to go and um, have some coffee and hopefully have enough energy to do another video. If not, um, the German one will definitely be happening tonight. But the American one, um, I might, I don't know, I might have to do tomorrow. Um, I will try to do it today, but I don't think I'm in a right frame right now to do two more videos. Um, so anyway, so I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, and that it, that this video has shed some light on a lot of things. And like I said, if you want, I have screenshots of everything. So if anybody wants to see in black and white what's going on, let me know, send me an email, I'll provide whatever is not clear, whatever you know you have questions about. I have no problem sharing things. Um, and like I said, I mean, anybody can take a screenshot and I can too, but um, I'm not going to, you know, do things that are like unethical, like what, what she does and just you know, throw everything out there, you know, without people really needing to know that. So unless this affects you personally and you want to know or see, you know, then contact me. If it doesn't affect you personally, then I'm not sharing any screenshots with anybody because this is, this is my, my, this is just, these are just my values. I don't, 
Um, I, just, I just don't do that. So have a good rest of your Sunday if I don't see you again. Um, and like I said, I will try to do a video about the babies and um, about a haul that I, that I wanted to show um, tomorrow if I don't do it today. Anyway, hope you guys are well. Um, be kind to one another. And like I always say, let love multiply. Bye.